are you going to stand there all day, or is there something you want? I don't mind, mate. You just carry on. <sighs> flattered. I didn't know I was that interesting. Oh, some people think you are. Oh, yeah? Yeah, rumour has it you're planning on looking after my nephew. <sighs> What's it to you? I'm not happy about you being anywhere near Ben. What? It's not your fault. I understand that. I even sympathise. But there's only a limit to how much someone in my position will put up with. Yeah. Look, um, look, we can't talk here. Where then? Can you wait, could you? Yeah, Mark. What makes you think this has got anything to do with Mark? Oh, come on, stop pretending. We both know Michelle let it slip. I think what you like, this isn't personal. I've kept quiet up until now, haven't I? All I'm concerned about is the health of my brother, his wife, and my nephew. Now, I'm asking you nicely, think carefully about what you're doing. And what am I doing? But I love you, Mark. Don't you think I'd be the first to know what the dangers are? Look, look, I love children. I'd no more likely harm a child in my care than, than flying to the moon. Don't you know anything? I know what I need to know. You're a risk, and you're married to an even bigger risk. If that's the case, why hasn't half a wolf had caught something from him then? Or the people that buy fee stall? God forbid, but what if it happened to you? What if people went around saying spiteful, ugly remarks that weren't even true? Because they couldn't be bothered to find out the facts. Because it's easier to be ignorant and hurt another person's feelings. I wouldn't be in that situation in the first place. You can't be sure of that. No one can. I haven't got AIDS. I know that. Mark is HIV positive. There is a big difference between that and AIDS. Not to me. Aren't you scared? What of? Sitting next to me. You might catch something. I can take care of myself. A little baby can't. Oh, God. I can't believe you're this ignorant. Thank God no everybody's as bigoted as you are.